Good? Yeah. Okay. That's how we do our mic check every time. No, it's not. That was absurd. Every time. You're absurd. Aloha. My name is Dan and I have been a tour guide in Hawaii for the past five years. In March of 2020, business came to a grinding halt. I have decided to release a series of short informational videos that you can enjoy from home. Mahalo for watching. Aloha. How's it? Mahalo for joining us and mahalo for your support and your aloha. Today's episode is about plants and animals of Hawaii. So, because the islands of Hawaii are volcanic islands, everything that came over uh, came by what they call the three W's. So the first W stands for water. So seeds would be carried by the ocean currents uh, to the island. The second W is for wings, the wings of birds. So birds would fly over and carry seeds with them. The final W is for wind. I know it's not the best picture of wind, but you try finding a picture of wind. Not the easiest thing to do. Anyways, uh, light seeds could be carried by the wind over here to the islands. Some example of native plants are the Ohia Lehua flower here, the Hala tree. Um, this is also known as the tourist pineapple because of the fruit that it produces. You can see it looks kind of like a pineapple, but of course pineapples grow on a plant down on the ground, not in trees. And uh, this is edible, but there's no one that I know that eats it. I don't think it tastes very good. Now, paca grows along coastal areas. And then, of course, everyone knows about the hibiscus, which is the state flower. As far as native animals go, it was mainly birds. So one of those birds is the nene goose, which is believed to be a descendant of the Canadian goose, but it evolved and adapted to life here in the islands. One thing notable is that its feet are only half webbed and so they had longer kind of fingers on the bottom, I guess toes, uh, but they were evolved to walk on uneven surfaces like lava. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of pictures of native birds, uh, mainly thanks to these guys. Uh, the mongoose were brought over during the plantation days and they were supposed to help with the rat problem but unfortunately all they really did was eat most of the native species of birds so they sadly wiped out a lot of the native and endemic species of birds that were here. And yep, that's another Tim Dog special. Thanks for that lovely picture of the mongoose. When the Polynesians came over, they brought with them plants and animals and these are called canoe plants uh, and canoe animals, I guess. I may have made that up, but uh, Anyways, some examples of canoe plants, maybe the most well-known is taro. The Hawaiians called it kalo, but this is a root plant. Uh, it's a starch like a potato. And this is a, it was their staple crop in ancient times and very important plant spiritually and culturally. Another canoe plant is this guy right here, the coconut. So this is super useful because this is the seed. So you plant this and it sprouts and grows. Um, from this, you open it up and there's coconut water. There's the meat inside the coconut. You combine the meat with the water and it turns into coconut milk. You leave the coconut milk out in the sun for a few days, it turns into coconut oil. The hard inner shell is used as a cup or a bowl. The husk inside here can be used for rope and for fire starter. The trunk that grows can be used for a building material. The leaves that grow can be used for baskets and mats. So super useful plant here. Uh, call it the tree of life, coconut. So anyways, a little surprise with this guy later. Stick around. There's also bananas and uh, tea leaf. Now don't confuse this with tea like you drink, but it's a plant with the really long leaves there. In ancient times and still today, people plant these around their homes to ward off evil spirits. It was also used for more practical purposes like making skirts. So they didn't wear grass skirts in ancient times, it was tea leaf skirts. And also it was used in cooking, kind of like tin foil. Uh, a popular dish it's used for is called lao lao. So to make lao lao, you put down two tea leaves and then you put down taro leaves pork and butterfish, you tie it in a knot and you steam it overnight. As far as canoe animals go, uh, the Polynesians brought with them pigs, uh, chickens, and dogs. Sorry Tim, it's the best I could do. 
Of course, many non-native, uh, actually invasive species have been brought over since the Polynesians came and that they're invasive, so they cause damage to the islands, right? So it is a good idea when you do come to be aware of what you bring here, what you track here. When you go from island to island, don't, don't track things on your shoes or, or bring things with you. So anyways, Malama, the Aina, Aloha. Thanks for joining us. Pork, rice. In Hawaii, we get choke food. Oh, we just grind them. Okay, so for today's uh, Ono Grind segment, we got what else but the coconut here. So, ooh, ooh, straw. Ah, just like the ancient Hawaiians used to do. Listen up the vocal cords. Is it going? <laughs> 